Yeah. I'm certified from the earth to the sky, from the dirt to my eyes, yeah, I'm sure I'ma find the worth of my life and the purpose of time, yeah. I hey, what's up? This is Off The Top with J-Rob The Law. We got Hot Boy in the building. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling loved, I'm feeling great, like amazing. Well, what do you do? Like, what is your thing? I'm a, uh, see, uh, set this up. I'm a, um, I'm a, I'm a musician. Oh, you make music? Oh. I fuck with that music. <laughs> I already know that shit. I was just, I was throwing him a curveball. I'll be, but... um, I'll be doing my little, yeah. So what kind of music, like, what's your favorite type of music? My favorite type of music, um, I ain't gonna lie. I like, I like hip hop, R&B. What's your favorite hip hop artist? My favorite hip hop. Uh, I gotta say Boosie, because I was raised on him. All right, who's your favorite old school hip hop artist? Old school, I'm gonna have to say Tupac. I already knew that shit. I don't even know that, but I knew it. I knew it. I, I just had a feeling. Why Tupac? Because Tupac was just, Tupac been here before. It was just something about him. Like, I don't know. What do you think about his thug life? Thug life? Oh, man, thug life is everyday life. You know what I'm saying? You like, think he was really about that? That motherfucker that was a motherfucker. You but, think he was really better thug life, or you you think nah, he was just putting it up? Nah, Tupac was just on some shit like really just, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day, she was just like a little more fucked up. You know? They was wrong, they were they were wrong rappers out a little more. So he just like you know, motherfucker get tired of that shit. You know, how it be started the thug life shit. So do you think Snoop Dogg it was legit or not? What do you think about Snoop Dogg? I fuck with Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg gangster. You, you think Snoop Dogg a little played out? Fuck, nah. That ball is just innocent. So he legit, he legit. You look up to Snoop Dogg? Man, I look up to Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, man, Snoop Dogg, you still look Hey, what about Nate? What about Nate? You like Nate? I fuck Nate Dogg? I had to learn some shit from Nate Dogg. All right, what do you think about Eminem? Eminem? I fuck with Eminem. What's your favorite Eminem song? I have to say Skeleton in the Closet. Oh, I'm cleaning out my closet. Yeah, I'm cleaning out there. Yeah. yeah, hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, he got uh, he got some good ones. He you got, think? And, and I gotta say that him and that Wayne, it's mm -hmm. a it's a couple. Oh, you know? the, no, no, I fuck with <laughs> that nigga. Uh, yeah, yeah. What about uh, Kanye? What about Kanye? What do you think about Kanye? You think I'm fucking crazy or what? Kanye really fucked up, but I I, I like the old Kanye before mm -hmm. he got fucked up with that girl. What do you think about Kanye supporting Trump? How do you feel about that? I really don't even give a fuck about none of that shit. So what do you think about Trump? <sighs> shit, Trump is Trump. Yeah, hey, hey, that's a good ass that answer. Is, I that like little, that. That little orange motherfucker don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, I ain't Who's not. better? Who's better, Biden or Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It seemed like when Trump was in office, though, shit was like, look, I don't know. Both of them fucked up, but I fucked hey, up. Hey, yeah, the, hey, the, hey, the gas prices were I, lower, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, I swear, everything was like, I don't know what the fuck going on right That's now. That's all I know is the gas prices were lower. But right? I, I ain't seen that bitch it since. Hey, what you, what you think about that cough, cough? That cough? You, you know, I'm I'm using code word as like you know that uh, the 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 C O V I. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? You think it's legit or not? Like, don't get too much detail. But I what do you think? I ain't gonna lie to you. Them people fucked up. I never believe that shit. But so you think they 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 be fraudulent about that shit? Anyway, let's let's get on all that <laughs> later later. Yeah, but like, you know. so what what what's some songs you got coming out recently? Well, recently, um, I I got that baby mama dropping tonight. You know what I'm saying? For everybody who's going through the baby mama problem, you know everybody go through them. Lord. And you know, I just I got a lot of shit coming. Like, I got so much shit coming to the point where like, I just I don't know. It's just a lot of shit coming. I'm ready for whatever. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of good music. What's the favorite song that you made? The favorite, What's your to, favorite song that you've made? My favorite song that I made, I ain't even gonna lie, I have to... I have to say Christmas Blues. Yeah, that's a really good one. I really like that one. And I have to say I'm good. You heard me? Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my favorite ones. I love them bitches. So what's your, what's your plan? What do you want to do with music? What I want to do with music? Mm -hmm. I want to go far as the music can take me. I wanna win a Grammy. I wanna, I wanna be the yeah the top dog in this shit. So, uh, where are you from? I'm. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, but I was raised why, like. Why were you born in Louisiana? Why was I born? In yeah, why? Shit, I you might have to ask God that. No, but so I. So you believe in God? Oh yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. W which God? God. The God, right? 
the only guy that I know. You know what I'm saying? You, you like I Buddha? Or you like Jesus? Or you like all of them? I like Jesus. You know, that's all I like. Hey. You know? I hey. don't really know about the other, you know, but you know how they go. I respect everything, but yeah. So, like, what brought you to God? What brought me to God? Mm -hmm. Shit, hard situation that I had to deal with. I done been through so much shit, like, God is so real, and I promise you, I'm a, I'm a living proof. God is real. I swear to God, that man is real. So, did you have to discover the devil before you could discover God? Every time. The closer you get to God, the closer the devil right there. So what was one of the times that you've uh, like seen the devil in your life? The devil in my life? <laughs> you, you <laughs> um, it's been a couple times, like, you know what I'm saying? It's been a couple times, you know. Well, look, let's hear about it. Let, let me, t like, tell me about it. Uh, you know, I'd have been, you know, I'd have lost, I'd have lost. My brother, you know what I'm saying, he got killed, you know, gun violence. Damn. I lost friends, you know what I'm saying, I didn't, you know, I'd have been through all kinds of shit. You know? So do you feel like uh, gun violence is like a good representation of the devil? Not necessarily. Well, it's it's very specific. Because humans make gun. A gun yeah. do not kill people, humans do. Mm -hmm. Remember that? But it's just like, where I'm from, it's so fucked up, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just survival of the fittest. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is like that everywhere, you know. So what brought you to Tulsa? What brought me to Tulsa? I actually had an uncle who's been stand up for like 20 years, and after Hurricane Katrina, like he told us to come up here, you know, when shit got bad down there, and we just, I don't know, we just fell in love with this motherfucker, for real. How do you feel, feel like Bush handled that? Bush. Hurricane Katrina, how do you feel like Bush handled that? I ain't even gonna lie, Bush could have handled that shit better than that, but really, I mean, I, we can't get mad at Bush because Bush really one man. I mean, ain't nothing he yeah. wanted to do. That's understandable. That's the, Actually, I fuck with that. I respect that. Man, I don't even like Bush, I mean, but I respect that because that's like, it's I mean, not what, his fault. He what, didn't do what, it, right? really could he do? Shield the rain? Yeah, exactly. He couldn't, like, there's not much he could have really done other than, like, you know, something to help. Yeah. All right. Uh, honestly, it's like, bro, I just want to ask you some, like, like just random ass shit like so like uh how do you feel about like defunding the police should the police be defunded police yeah should they be defunded or should or what do you think like how um, do you feel about that how i really feel about that um the police i have missed the most about that because really like i don't know about police because police really be overstepping their boundaries sometimes then mm -hmm. like our police ain't bad but like i don't know shit so crazy you just like, bro, if you get stopped by the police, please do whatever they say. Because they yeah. scared too. You understand that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Really. So, I mean, do you feel like that, uh, like, uh, law, to a certain degree, is important to a society? To a society, law? Yeah, like, do you think law, to yeah, a certain I, degree? I mean, yeah, yeah, because, I mean, see, Somebody breaking your shit, the first thing you gonna do is call the police. Exactly, right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you're saying fuck the police, but you know, I ain't gonna call the police. So, but you know. But I mean, I mean, bro, if somebody just killed a motherfucker, like they're gonna call them. They're right? gonna call, they gotta yeah. call them. It's like because it. it's like it's yeah. some sort of help, like at yeah. least something, you know? But really, I like like nurses, like doctors. I ain't even say doctors, like yeah. nurses, like people who really help people. Yeah, you know, yeah. On a daily basis. That's what we Like I, firemen that's and, and shit. Like, like, Five minutes. See, there is some people that, like in the police. I, I believe that would like like going in there to like serve the people, right? Yeah. Everything. So like, do you think that they should like uh, like give like proper funding to the right places to help train police better, rather than taking away money for you know what I'm saying? Like, because when they say defund the police, yeah. Like, do you think that they should have proper funding to the degree of like making the society better? It ain't the money. It's these motherfuckers who getting their guns and their badges and thinking they guard, thinking they yeah, power. they power tripping. That's they, where it gets yeah. messed up. At. See, police supposed to help, not harass and big dog and all. Yeah, that, you know. Uh, of course. So do you feel like that to a certain degree that police have been a detriment to society, in some ways? In some way. Yeah. But our police ain't bad. Yeah, they're they're humans just like us. But a lot of them is. So like. 
uh, do you believe, uh, are you more leaning towards like hippie metho methodology? Hippie or, methodology. Like, you, do, would you believe, like, like a hippie came up to you and be like, yeah, man, like free love and peace? Like, I fuck with that. So, like, you you with the hippies, you down with the hippies, right? Yeah, I, I fuck with that because when I was little, I used to, um, like, like little hippie cartoons and shit, so I fuck with that, all that peace and all this shit. For real? You like that 70s show? Yeah, I fuck with yeah. that. I didn't watch the 70s show in jail. I fuck with the 70s show. Hey, that's lit. Hey, can I hit that? Can I hit that? Fuck hey, so, did. what's your favorite kind of alcohol? My favorite kind of alcohol? Because uh, I really ain't a drinker, but... I probably, you know, on that NJ, Hennessy, whatever. I really don't give a damn. I, sometimes I just want to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? So, but, hey, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, okay. I just came up with a random, like, we on a sporadic mission right now of, like, talking about, like, a bunch yeah. of random shit, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is, like, I, I feel like this is the best type of interview. Yeah. But I want to ask you something, like, like, that could be personal or it couldn't be. Yeah. Have you ever struggled with uh, drugs or anything in your life or anybody being on drugs in your life around you? Of course. And how so? Shit, like, yeah. I just struggled with drugs myself. I done been, like, yeah, down, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really, I done had to create my, I done had to recreate myself multiple times, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm a strong motherfucker. But, of course, you know, I'm from Louisiana. Everybody on drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody got somebody in their family a drug, to, a drug user. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that shit was. I grew up around that shit. You know what I'm saying? So what kind of what like what kind of struggles did that like bring to you? Struggles? Oh, uh, I brought a lot of struggles because I ain't a lot of drugs would really tell families apart, especially the hard drugs. Like weed, that ain't nothing. But I didn't see families get too apart, like completely. I didn't told my family apart drugs. You know what I'm saying? When I say it's just I don't know. Shit be crazy, you know, sometimes you gotta, it be that double, but them drugs, that shit don't help, because as soon as you get high, the pain still gonna be there, so, you know. So what, what, what is some good advice you could give to uh, other people or the next generation about how to stay away from drugs or to get off your drugs? Get out the environment that you're in, that's full of that shit. Try to move yourself, uh, you know, start hanging with better people that's not doing that. Cause you is what you hang around. Yeah. For real. You is what you hang around. Shit crazy. Hey, that's that's some good advice. Honestly, that's, that's some good advice. I don't I like hang that. around nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless you really like got real, real love for me. All the people you see around me is people who would die for me and kill for me. Uh, you ain't see how many me. How many friends do you think that you have? Like, like real life friends that like mm -hmm. I know got love for me. I have to say about probably Two to three, honestly. Yeah. Like, really. Yeah. Why? Because, like, I don't know, we done been through so much shit to the point where, like, they done proved it too many times. It ain't even about that. It's just, like, I just got, I got certain people that I, like, you know, I got real love for. And they got real love for me, and I know it. You know, but ain't that many. So, what's your plan? My with plan. Music? And my plan of music? Oh, um, I ain't gonna lie, my plan of music is the. Really keep doing my shit and really just keep doing my shit and keep stepping on their necks and keep like just doing me really. Like, you know, keep putting this shit out, you know. I don't give a fuck, you know. I'm putting everything out. Whatever I drop, I'm putting out, yeah. I'm not gonna stop, you know what I'm saying? So, do you have any uh, favorite artists that are in Tulsa? Favorite artists in Tulsa? Mm hmm. Um, like number one, number two, number three? I ain't even gonna do that, but I fuck with a couple people in Tulsa, but. You know, I don't really, you know, know too many people, but I, I fuck with Phil Saucer, you know, I, I went to school with Phil and shit, you know what I'm saying, I fuck with Wu, you know what I'm saying, I fuck with old boy Gang Ty, you know what I'm saying, I don't really know too many people, you know what I'm saying, but I fuck with a couple people, you know, you know, they know, they know who they is, you know what I'm saying, but I don't fuck with too many people at all like that, so, yeah, I fuck with a couple people. Well, I mean, I feel that, you know, I mean, like, so... What what kind of uh, like a genre of uh, uh, rap do you feel like you fit into? Um, genre rap, I ain't even gonna lie. Like I rap, shit, I sing, I do it all. So I mean, you can stick that motherfucker in anything, really. Like 
I really can do it all, so I have to say, you know, hip hop, R and B, you know, whatever, because I can do whatever. So, do you believe that the uh, the uh, principles uh, principles of hip hop are important to hip hop? Like the 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 main principles yes. of like, do you believe that, that those are good things? Principles, like what you mean? Like, I like, mean, just like I mean, with like knowledge and like empowerment knowledge, and stuff. Empowerment. Like yeah, of course, because I promise you, every song that I make, you're going to get something from it. You know? mm -hmm. It's all about listening to that song and really get something from it. See, I don't really like hearing music that I'm not getting nothing from it. I mean, you getting high, you fucking bitches, you killing people. Okay, everybody do that. You know, I like to make songs where, like, you, you hear this song and be like, damn, that nigga really said that shit. Like, you know, I felt that shit. You know, it stick with you. I try to make music like that. You know, I always been, you know, I don't, anybody that know me that been making music, like I've been, I make that real shit, that real pain shit, you gonna feel it in your chest every time. Do you feel like hip hop has been weaponized? Weaponized? Yeah, hip hop, like, I ain't gonna lie. I hear such shit, I don't know what the fuck they talking about, like, and what the point of the song. Yeah. But some shit be catching, you know, you know, sound But they good. still got a million views, though. So. You're right. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, oh, I say you ain't got to be no good rapper no more. It's all about yeah. really catching that. But me, I was, you know, I've been doing music for a minute, so I done seen music elevate from mm -hmm. stages to the point where, like, I'm still under that old love. Like, I don't know. I, I can make whatever, but, yeah. So. Shit crazy. Do you believe in the New World Order? The New World Order? Mm -hmm. Do I believe in it? Yeah. Do you think the New World Order is real? Yeah. What is the New World Order? The New World Order? See, everything that we're seeing around us right now today that's happening. Cash rule, everything around, around me. me. I swear to God. Yeah. That piece of paper, that bitch is the devil. I don't know if you knew it. So, would, would you believe that uh, this life is hell on earth? This is hell. We're just reincarnated? Sometimes I feel like that, and then again, I don't know. Yeah, we can't know. At the really. end of the day, you could say something, but then again, you mm -hmm. never know. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, how do you feel about uh, AI? AI? AI, like artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Like robots and shit. Like, how do you feel about robots? How I feel about them? I feel like shit, technology advances so much to the point where and the minute they ain't gonna need us for shit no more. So they're gonna, what are they gonna do? They trying to wipe us out or they're something. They're gonna exterminate us, right? Right. So, so that is that the new world order? That's the new world order, right? Oh, oh, man, oh, shit. You feel me? Hey, yeah. Yeah, so, motherfuckers better get their shit together. Do you believe in so, aliens? Do I believe, hell yeah, yeah. I've been seeing these. What kind of aliens? My, Aliens like what, like what, what kind? kind like what kind of aliens like 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 a I believe they are not like, the only fucking things out here. I didn't actually see shit in the sky. Well, I can't explain it to myself. But it's like, do you think that that could just be some like government shit? No, cause I didn't actually see some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I mean, it could have been, but no, I didn't actually see some shit. Well, I seen some shit too. Like, I know, like, like fuck I up. seen some shit. Well, yeah, it was a. I know for a fact it was something mm -hmm. that's not. You know, I did a couple times, but you know. So, would you get a sex robot? <laughs> Not dead. Yeah, I know you get a sex robot. Everybody, every motherfucker get a sex robot. Like, I swear I to God. I don't know about that though. I you think know. that's gonna be like a thing? Like, you think that that's gonna be a realistic thing? They're gonna have that shit all around? I mean, some people might like that shit. No, every, every I, I guarantee everybody will. But it's like, do you think that that will be something that's feasible in the next like five years? Like having robots walking around? That should be crazy, but shit, you never know though. I don't know. That shit crazy though. You think about it though, but I ain't lying. Oh, I oh I love that real thing. I mean, come on, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, ooh, shit. I, I mean, love, I don't know though. Hey, so do you have anything that you want me to ask you about See, your career, about about your your moves, like anything that, like, tell me, like, just tell wanna, us, just tell everybody. I want to add some shit though, like you know, I want to have like everybody who out there going through shit, going through pain and all that shit, whatever. Whatever you're going through, like, try to find something every day to motivate you. Try to just, I don't know, like, pain, 
tell you about pain. That pain gonna always be there. Like, it's gonna always be there to hurt you. So man, go live your life, bro. Go do something. Like, don't be trying to beat yourself up every day, all day. Cause at the end of the day, you're doing it to your fucking self. You know. I don't mean just try to just find a way to keep going every day. You know, as I'm doing myself. Have you ever had suicidal thoughts? Yeah. What? See, um, when I was younger, I used to have a real bad anger problem. I kind of do a little bit, not really, but I used to just say stupid shit that I ain't mean. You know what I'm saying? I get mad at my dad or some shit, get mad at my. But I never really wanted to kill myself, but I didn't like had. Like thoughts were like, I probably bet I did, yeah. Yeah. You ever cut yourself or anything like that? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I don't even like, like knives and shit. Yeah, I mean shit, yeah. I mean, but I, <laughs> I, I didn't actually be with a female who I actually like seen doing that shit and that shit really fucked me up though. But really? I didn't like seen, like, you know, been around a female that did that shit and that shit crazy, but nah, I ain't never cut myself. Well, that's good. So it's like, how would you, because there's a lot of people that do all this shit and think uh, very suicidal. What would you tell the people of the next generation? About suicidal? Like, how, like, like what would you say, like, to, to I'm gonna keep help it all them the way stay real, though. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. There's somebody out there in the world that late, and you probably still don't give a fuck. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna solve nothing. Like, you're making it worse. Like, please just try to find something, anything, like, anything to motivate you to want to just something, you know? I don't know, but killing yourself, not because you're going to hell and you're making it worse. And I feel like, really, you copped out, you know what I'm saying? So do you agree with Kanye that Jesus is king? Yeah. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. So what what do you see? Okay, and this is just I've been asking random ass questions like yeah. like bam 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 like random yeah. ass questions. What is it? But what do you see for society in the next five years? Generally, as a society, what do you think is going to happen as a forecast? My honest opinion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see shit we ain't never seen before. We already starting to. You it's think? Like slow you think it's about to go to shit? You think everything about to go to I shit? I say about five years. I really don't even know. I just hope that it's not that. But, you know, cars might be flying and shit. We might be living like the PJs, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about uh, the Rockefellers? The Rockefellers? Rockefellers, Ross Charles. Uh, I don't really know about You don't know no, about nothing? I know about Jay-Z, shit, the Rockefeller label. You like Jay-Z? I heard about them, though. Jay-Z or Nas? Jay-Z or Nas? Mm -hmm. I got to say that ain't even no competition. I ain't even gonna care. I fuck with both of them. Oh, shit. Because both of them is like, yeah. Where do you see yourself in one year? Well, I see myself in one year. Oh, shit, I ain't gonna lie. Shit, probably in a state where I've never been there. You know what I'm saying? People waiting to see me to perform. And, you know, I'm doing my thing with this music, you know. My kids have everything. Life a little better. I see myself in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, music going to pop out for me, hopefully, you know. Everything moving smooth. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. So, so what What would you say to your fans? My fans? I ain't even going to lie. I love y'all. But, but y'all loving me because y'all ain't got to listen to shit or love nothing. Because, you know, it's so many people that rap, but if you fuck with my music and you support me, I swear I love you to death. Cause you know, like only if y'all knew how this shit come about, this shit so real and so raw. But y'all appreciate everybody who fuck with me. You know, it's real love. What would you say to your haters? Fuck them. They can eat my dickhead. I, don't I was hoping them. you say that you love them too. <laughs> I love them too. Though. I ain't gonna lie, I love the haters though. But fuck them. You know so, what I'm saying? So what's the best type of woman? The best type of woman. The best type of woman is somebody who gonna always be honest and always keep it real with your ass. Always gonna keep it real when you fucking up and keep you on the right path. Somebody who motivates yeah. you, somebody who lifts you up when they see you down. Like, not somebody who 
you know what I'm saying, bring you down when they mm -hmm. see you trying to live over. You know how that shit be, but I don't know, it be, it's a couple of things though. Hey, that's lit. So honestly, like I wanted to ask you a bunch of wild card questions, but I already asked all of them. So honestly, we're we're at the uh, the period of time within the uh, the interview yeah. of uh, hot seat. Hot seat. Oh so, shit, let's get it. Uh, you rap uh, for one minute, yeah. uh, freestyle off the top of the head, or you all can right. rant. One minute starting now. Played on me, broke my heart, I think I'ma need surgery. Riding around with a chopstick, I know you bitches that heard of me. What's on top of that stick all oh, lot? They finna paint the city red, ain't worried about what they said. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, play dead, I ain't worried about what they said, but can't nobody hold me back. Actually, I'm doing my shit, and can't nobody control it. Rest in peace, the cold, but I crashed the burn, but ain't notice it. Yeah, yeah. Remember thugging all on G Street, can't let her. Me, me, my only friend is TD. That little bitch taught me so much. That little bitch, they a hustler. He's the hustler, a customer. For that nigga bees and black boy, I know I'm trying to fuck with something. I know they don't fuck with us, and I don't fuck with them either. I can't. Yeah. I lost my love for a couple ones because nigga changed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. there we go. There we yeah, go. You know. All right. Uh, you got shout outs? Anybody want to shout out? I want to shout out my kids. Shout out my crazy dad, baby mama. Shout out my family. You know, with they fake ass supporting ass. <laughs> Shout out my fans. Shout hey, they'll come around. I already know. You know, they good. You got anybody specific you want to name? Um, I want to shout out my nigga Doobie. Yeah, I want to shout out my nigga Tank. Shout out, you know, everybody that's fucking with me. My nigga K. You know, my nigga Darius, TD, everybody. You know, everybody. Yeah, I already know. Hey, that's real love. That's real love. Where, where can they find your music at? I'm on YouTube, Hot Boy, H-O-T, the little slash in the middle, B-O-I, you hear me? I'm on United Masters, same thing, you know, you can follow me on Instagram, H-O-T, Check it out, Christmas Hot Blues. Boy. You know what I'm Check out that blues. Christmas Blues, yeah. you hear me? That bitch, though, is classic, timeless, you know, it's, I fuck around with a grandma out there, you know? But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be everywhere all in your face, just chill, you hear me? For real. Hey, check out the homie because we doing some big things. I swear to God, only I promise you, but guess what? Like that bitch Kevin Gates said, gotta make him believe. For real. Yeah, man. Exactly. Yeah. Any closing statements? Closing statements? Um, um let's see, we just gonna keep it going. At the end, you know what I'm saying? Nigga stronger than ever, you know? I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm blessed, I'm free. You know, I do this shit for Tilly, you know. Long live Tilly. We gonna keep it going. Hey, it's about that family, it's about that love, it's about you know, real, shit. real shit. Hey, hey, tell them, uh, say this real quick. Say, uh, subscribe to Wildfire, say that. <laughs> and subscribe to Wildfire, you heard me? Believe that. Yeah. That. Support the movement. Shout you know out me? to y'all. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Make some noise for Hot Boy.